personal experience but also rational thought like most of it funny enough a lot of my influence is through rational thinking and you know stuff we get exposed to in YouTube and it's that type of rational logical thinking is actually is that main influence from deism so I would say the, the atheist community had huge influence on the way I think really it's more so I don't know you're asking about someone's spiritual beliefs but the main aspect is actually the, the rational side that made me think it's supposed to go too you know it's supposed to go too far like most some people get as you know a lot of people get carried away of the thinking and it's actually the the last them side is we we are just supposed to in combination their own personal experiences that that lead me to think there's, there's other things possibly going on. So that's that's kinda how I've arrived. Because it's not it's the only thing that really that, that kind of com that accommodates really of experience friends. Because if, I, if any other position I could hold, would, I would have conflicts. The most a lot of other people within that group. So, Deism seems to be quite accepting of my my view and how I how I approach things. So. Generally speaking, I don't. There isn't one. There's no problem with atheism at all. Really. Um, individual atheists, perhaps, and maybe the overly dramatic scepticism, perhaps, but not the actual. If, if we define atheism by this lack of belief, then there's really a, a reason to have a problem with it. The generally, uh, the way I see things, it's not. I, I don't think you should judge people by what you believe or lack of, it's more about them as an individual. That's how you assess the character of a person. I mean, I think even atheists sometimes go down that route of just if, of like finding someone or uh, treating people something because of what you believe or not. And it's, to me, that's it's, unless your belief is further damaging and the thought processes are quite dangerous in some way. I don't think I do, to be honest. It's more like it, it, the deist conclusion is more like a bit of hypothesis is based on how they view the world, how they view things. Um, I would say they, they didn't necessarily have a need to fill in God as such because in most cases, the God the felon isn't necessarily that important to them as an individual anyway. It's more like a conclusion based on, and these are usually quite spiritual, and they even have a huge impact on it, but I wouldn't say they're filling in the gaps in the way of just, you know, to appease their own, because the Christian, or like, I think they've talked about like evolution and creationism, I mean, they would fill in the gaps as a need to explain God, but a deist didn't necessarily have that interested need to put in God, and, uh, and if, they, uh, if they hypothesize God, it's more based on how they honestly see things. Um, so I think sometimes they feel struggle with that one, because I think you don't see how someone can really come to the conclusion, but I think this is the honest conclusion based on how they view the world. This, this is an in, well, interesting question, I think, because I do not, from a deist perspective, I really see any need for God to really have a problem. I mean, if I think about it logically, because um, there's no logical reason for God to have a problem because it is 
there's no it's not of it's not, it's not in any any influence of God in the world is very subtle at most. So if I'm to have a problem with people not believing is a bit it doesn't really make sense. I mean it's no so it's more more pantheistic as opposed to deistic as well. So it's no it's, it's the to me it's just the way the story is and the way things progress and I think we'll we'll need different sides of the the coin um so it's no we need to have a problem, I mean I think God I mean my possible view of philosophical view of God would be like there's no need to have a problem the whole there's, there's no problem to have, it's just the way things are. There's no it's not like a Christian view of God that sits in and assesses people and and he's got his own moral way and that's the way it is. It's more like there isn't a moral way, there isn't a way there isn't the way to think, it's just the way we are progressing as a whole. It's so no, you really, will have a problem when I find the person quite hard to most. Uh, I don't see how you could. Um, I'm not sure how you defi- how you what do you mean by the way the word question? I mean, if you mean do the question God does in his existence, like how he in this, I mean, the, the, the main thing about deism is they are supposed to question. They, that, that's the main aspect of being a deist. So then they, they should question their own view, like probably more than anyone they can make so to the question. So they will, should always analyse their own belief of that they are. So if you ask them if a deist or uh, questions God, it's a like mess. But if you mean the question them as their method or the question the way God is or what we choose, I don't know how it works. Then no, um, there's no, there's no really need to do that. Based on the general view of the deist God, anyway, there's no need. It's just like that. To me, it's just. To me, things happen organically. It's just a case of. There's no. You can't. From your position as well, there's, you can't really trust him because there's no. It's only your perspective from your angle. And, and that's kind of my sort of like. When, when people put up the argument from evil. And things like that. I, I never find that very strong argument because it's based on your perspective and your own, you know, moral code that's been struck, you know, defined. It, it's I just you know, there's, there's no need to question uh, existence. Yes, but it's methods, not really. Um, if if if. If God's perceived methods then fit with deist, I don't think it would be a deist. Um, so deist doesn't really have a problem with me hands are, really. Um, well, unless you can see his hands are perfect, but it's just... Um, yeah, there's existence, yes, he's anything else, not really. the most complicated one to answer, I'd say. Um, but, um, yeah, because there's, there's, I mean, a lot of people, I think a lot of people assess, like, they've got Wikipedia and they've got, like, the classical definition of deism, but, um, generally speaking, deist, that conclusion is based on logic and reason, never know whatever the name is based on. But if they added for personal experience, and I think that's the main difference between being a deist and 
being an atheist, I think. Um, yeah, because it just to me is more like to you know, at address or assess anecdotal evidence, personal experience, and I, and I have to remind myself to an extent, so to a relative degree, to us more personal experience. I know things, you know, you, you can miss assess things and you can miss, you know, your own judgment can be a bit off, and, but I think, I, I on the other hand, I don't think you should disregard your own view as well, I think, you know, when it comes to the point where you have to trust yourself to a degree, I know we need to make mistakes and you might think things are valid when they're not and things like that, but I think the main thing about being a deist that separates them from atheism is how, how you use your own personal experience to come to a conclusion. But and also, but then conversely to that, the thing that separates them from it would be feasible by Christianity is the fact that they're non dogmatic. So, so the view things as they are, but the way they view things, they just come to a conclusion that some people might find about strange, but it's, it's still an honest conclusion. Um, and also, I don't know, it's quite complicated because there's all different variations of these. I mean, I can list them all. I mean, if I've studied and tried to explain them all, I might hear a while, but um, obviously, we've got pandeism and panentheism. Um, obviously, panentheism is kind of like pandeism, where everything's. Or well, pantheism as well, where everything's. God is everything. You know, it's, and also, but also, there's, a, there's an aspect outside of him, as, as in, so it's part endiest, so it's, there's an aspect, another aspect out and above, right? things as we know, universe as we know it. And then we've got things, the Christian deism, philosophical deism, scientific deism. And to me, there's different aspects of deism, but that's just basically how the deist assesses. God, maybe their chosen way of assessing what God is. But if a philosophy or for the trying to forget to you or so it's just the deist is it's when about deism it can be quite broad by they might have a general conclusion or then deism is more it's also actually it's quite a lack of conclusion. It's more I might mean, what we don't know a lot. Um, we, 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 we see so much and then it's more like these are a lot of putting hands up and going well it's what we don't know really it's just a new thing this and that's and you don't really go beyond much more than the existence of something other and then you stop you know you see these don't necessarily see much about after life or and canny, so it depends. But, um, so, yeah, it's just like, you can, you can be a pagan deist, it's just like, it's just like your chosen method of understanding the world, really. Um, it's, 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 it's quite flexible, that one. Um, yeah, so you can. What, my trust has been more for like spiritual means, I mean I go to spiritual church, so it's more kind of for meditation and, and um, but yeah, just it's just as um, because I can really go on forever on this one because it's like it's such a broad thing because the deism can really it can expand the whole text. It doesn't describe any type of thought. It's actually quite a holistic point of view. Because you can take any point of view, like even atheism, paganism, any any like world view and sort of corporate deism provided you have but rationality and mixed in of it and you don't just take things literally. Um but you can take things like first off you know. So it's 
like we kind of a lot of these with kind of like a middle ground it's more like the ability to it's kind of seen allowing the person to still be spiritual but also not go over the top and I think that's a important aspect of deism and I think there's some videos I see like from atheists attacking deism and some a lot of them are kind of like based on straw men or they kind of say that oh, this is what you think you should think and, and, and I don't know do we like those videos where they don't really address a specific person or somebody's point of view, they kind of say, oh, this is what these people think, and, this, and sometimes they go off the map, and I just, um, but is quite a good, it's quite a good point of view, this aspect is, I mean, if, if a person, some people are aspects who bear their nature, so they don't necessarily have a really right to atheism, so deism is a good middle ground for them to go to after they've started to question their own specific faith. So, so it's quite, I think deism is quite important from that aspect. Um, I don't understand why people knock it that much, to be honest. Uh, because if you didn't have it, you, you'd basically have the black and white. Uh, and that's not necessarily that helpful to some and, and it's just that I think some people are frustrated that they're conscious are so little that they, they can't really get the teeth into it so I think sometimes it's a bit of um, this kind of annoyed about it because um, yeah that's kind of like I mean I can expand these I'll, I'll leave some things on there under bar anyway, but I could, there's quite a few things I could have expanded on, on a lot of those points, but, and I will if, if I need to, but uh, that's my general, general answers anyway, I mean I could go into more detail, like for number one I suppose I could go into more detail exactly, you know, more specifically what experience, I just had that experience, so I could be more specifically I suppose, but I think that's general not set of answers to the questions so if I really want to get more depth or if you want me to stand there and explain more detail what Chris and Deism is or whatever I could but I think for now that's probably about enough